In this video, I'm going to go through affirmations for being irresistible. Welcome to my channel. I'm Shannon. This is Lifestyle Manifesting. On my channel, I discuss manifesting as a lifestyle, every area of your life, design and create your reality like you want it to be. Today, I'm going to go through some rampage affirmations about being irresistible. Okay, be the irresistible you by affirming that with I am affirmations. So you can listen and saturate yourself with this knowing that this is who you are. You can close your eyes and listen. You can repeat after me, whatever feels good to you. Um, so affirm with me or sit and listen and enjoy. I am irresistible. I am always chased and pursued. I feel so good about myself. I always get the love that I desire. I am always treated beautifully. I radiate every room that I walk into. I get attention everywhere I go. I am chosen because I choose myself. I am irresistible. I radiate a power that everyone is attracted to. I'm always a priority. I know that I'm a priority. I am the one and I am the only one. I always get special treatment everywhere I go. I radiate a power within me. I am valuable and everyone knows it. I love who I am. I am way too special to lose. Love is filled in my body. I am mesmerizing. I am irresistible. I am so secure in who I am. I love who I am. When I walk into a room, everyone is mesmerized by me. I am chased and pursued. I am always the one. I see myself as chosen. I always get the love I desire. I radiate beauty from within. I radiate a beauty that everyone is attracted to. I feel so good in my body I choose to be me. I love the way that I walk through life. I am irresistible. I love that I see a reality that shows me that I'm irresistible. I love knowing that I'm always chosen. I love being in this world. I love that I am the one and only. I love that I'm unique. I love that I am premium first class. I love knowing that I am irresistible. All right. Hi, everyone. So today I was going through a rampage affirmation for you. Remember, you are what you declare. The I am is the two. They are the two most powerful words you can say because that's your identity and that's who you're claiming yourself to be. So are you claiming yourself to not be chosen or are you claiming yourself as irresistible, irresistible to the one you love, 
irresistible to people in, in even in the work environment you could be the one who's irresistible that everyone wants to work with you you could be the one who's irresistible that your friends always want to make sure you're included in every situation because you are that person that's irresistible people want to be your friend people want to be your partner people want to work with you people want to hire you become that version of you by seeing yourself in that identity solidify seeing yourself as that version so how do you do that you affirm that that reality you visualize yourself as that person you have to visualize and see yourself as that person before you become that person so you practice that by seeing yourself that way by affirming and changing your beliefs about who you are by reprogramming yourself to have new thoughts better thoughts the highest thoughts about yourself and only those thoughts about yourself and you could do that in a very quick amount of time and very fast very effortlessly it will become your normal natural your reality will reflect this version of you as you keep affirming that and seeing yourself as this version I'm gonna answer some questions. Hi, everyone. Hi, Evan, hello. Love my affirmations, they are helping me. If anyone's new here, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a playlist of affirmations there, uh, meditations for different affirmations about trusting and knowing your desire is yours. I am confidence. I have a hot girl walk, walk meditation. Um, I have manifest your specific person whisper method. So go there if you want to check out some of my affirmations. It's a, it's, I claimed myself as magnetic and funny and had some great interactions and actually felt confident. Woo, I love that. Right, so you keep claiming yourself, right? This is deliberate creation because before we wake up to realize that we are in control of our own destiny, we think that the 3D reality kind of tells us who we are. And we think who we are who we are based on genetics, which by the way, that's not even true, right? None of it, none of the 3D reality, what we really believed in the old, old model of reality is true, which true is what you, you declare of yourself which true is what you claim of yourself and of your own life so even with a genetic condition if someone says well that's genetics it's in your family you're going to have heart disease no no you are not you are not because you're going to focus on health and well-being you're going to focus on your body is powerful that you are healthy right so you claim i am magnetic and i am funny and now isn't it fun is this is like this is what this is all about uh, stepping away from the drama of life and step into the world that you're playing this is your playground and you're having fun and what are you claiming of yourself you're magnetic and funny and now look the world reflects that back to you okay it feels confident keep doing that and create the confidence from within the confidence is not necessarily that everyone's telling you you're magnetic and funny but the confidence comes from you knowing that you create your reality that you're the creator and people reflect your perception about yourself so let the confidence come from that place not necessarily okay it's okay to have it's not a bad thing that the world will give us confidence but the true stability and rooted con uh, confidence comes from within. And it's coming from within because you created that. So I love that. I love my affirmations from SP to, to me. 3D is very frustrating lately. Okay, um, white tea. So uh, 3D can feel frustrating. Here's how a little switch in your mindset, right? This 3D feels frustrating, it feels frustrating, it feels like it's not going the right way, okay? But you don't wanna keep going down that road, okay? You have to change the, ch you have change the, the road. And you simply change the road by saying, even though it's frustrating, I know it will be okay. Okay, so don't dwell in the fact that it's frustrating and don't keep your mindset there. You could, you could um, be aware of it. I mean, we're aware of it. Okay, so you're aware of it but you're not choosing it. You're aware that it's frustrating, but you're gonna shift your focus and attention. I intend it gets better, it must get better. This too shall pass. You know, with time, things get better. That's a belief people hold already in the world. With time, your heart heals. That's a, that's a great belief to hold. All right, so it will get better, it must get better. You're right here, it's getting better. In the present moment's the only moment that creates. 
Yeah, right. I mean, unless you're really focused on the past. So don't focus on the past of the frustration. Fo focus on the present moment of feeling and knowing that everything's going to be okay. Because you'll create that everything is okay, right? Do you believe in purges? Yes, I do believe in purges. My, um, like the 3D showing opposite before it clears out. Yes, you can purge out. You, so what, however you're defining reality, this is just a purge. Even saying that, doesn't that help you feel better? Like, this is just a purge. Like, instead of thinking, oh no, this is the worst, but it's just a purge. It's just a purge. It's all, all the old thoughts and your old belief system is purging out. It has to purge out to, to make room for the new, okay? So you make room for the new by purging out. The same thing, I have my course that I created, right? The, my self-concept course, Master Your Reality by Mastering Your Self-Concept, in that, in that um, self-concept work, you purge out the old thoughts. You purge, it's okay to get that all out on paper, but you're purging it out to make room for that new. So it's all, it's a purge, it's all cleared out. You're clearing it out, let it clear out, it's all clearing out, but know that it's, uh, as it's clearing out, you're still putting your vision, your focus on your preferred reality. Really great, yes, I'm starting not to care about what other others think I love that not my focus anymore it's all about me creating me yes okay we're not worried about what other people think about that the book how not to give a fuck right that book is powerful I mean it has a different perception but that whole idea behind it you don't want to care and worry about the person that said to you um, you shouldn't do that. It's not going to work for you. No, you get to choose and decide your reality. You're not going to decide based on what other people tell you, unless it supports your outcome, <laughs> right? So it's all about going, it's like trusting self. You trust yourself. You trust your judgment. You go to, you go within to trust, right? You have to break free of the whole 3D reality that says, hey, check every re review about where you should go for dinner <laughs> or check because it, it, it doesn't matter where you go for dinner. When you are aligned with that inner self that always has top of the line treatment, that you always know it's going to be a good circumstance, that you always know it works out for you. And that particular person will have a way different experience at the same restaurant that 5,000 people might have said it was horrible, but the one person who really believes in creating the reality and knowing that they have those good experiences, they will have a different experience. Your experience is based on your own perception, so don't take the perception of others that don't align, align with your vision. Billy Phillips, you're having a very challenging day. It's, it's going to pass, okay? It feels challenging, but you know all possibilities exist, okay? So it's all about mindset. Are you put, putting your focus on the challenge? It's not working out. This sucks, I can't stand this. Okay, if you need to do that for a moment, just let that purge out. Now, step into, it's, it's a choice. Every day we wake up and we could choose to be happy or we could choose to be sad. We could choose to focus on the negative and we could choose to focus on the positive. What, do we have an old, maybe you have an old habit, not you particularly, but if we have a habit of focusing on the negative, you got to, you have to break the habit. It doesn't take any more energy to focus on positive than it does negative. It takes mental discipline. So claim, I have mental discipline and I can do this. And I'm going to focus on what, what could make me happy today. And, and what can make you happy? Focus, in, focus on gratitude. What else can make you happy? Go for a walk, be in the present moment, enjoy your, your whatever you're doing in the present moment. Go work out, burn off energy and burn off that steam and come out from your workout with a clear mind. So those are several ways of how to change your state of being. And now you're feeling better. It will, it might feel easier to say, you know what? I do have a good outlook, the, the outlook in life. I do believe this can change because it will change. I mean, you know, with you, <laughs> it's about convincing ourselves that it could change, right? So, so you, we could softly do that. And now get to a place, just declare it. Okay, I didn't always take the soft, that soft way to kind of transition 
Even in the face of feeling horrible, I kept declaring. I declare, I would say it to myself, like in my mind, right? I declare this is going to be a good day. I give in to freedom, I, the freedom to choose, the, the freedom of feeling free to go anywhere, to have anyone love me, to have abundance, right? The freedom to do anything. I give in to freedom. I give in to security. I give in to the feeling of security. I create and cultivate security from within, right? If we could create, this is what we want to do. We want to create that from within. We create that within. Otherwise, we're create, we could, we can create it other ways, right? <clears throat> The key is creating it within because that creates real stability that no matter what the condition is in the 3D reality, that doesn't shake you. So you create, that's why we're creating it within because we're also connecting with the creator from within us, that higher self. Shelly, can you give me affirmations for a better social life, please? I'm always invited. I love that there are so many fun things to do. I love that my friends are always inviting me to go out. I love that there are so many interesting things to do in life. I intend to know my own passions. I intend to walk every day into a direction where it feels like this is a dream life. I love having a better social life. I love doing the things that I do. Okay, so even saying I love having a better social life will align you with that reality. But then, okay, so what we don't want to do is say, how come there's never anything to do? And I don't know, I don't even know what I want to do. And I don't even know what sounds good anymore. And there's nothing to do. There's nothing, yeah, like what's going on? What is everybody doing? Okay, that whole, that, that aligns you with a reality of like nothing's going on i wish it were better right because that's that's your true feeling inside like i wish this was better our reality is reflecting what's within so for a better social life i intend you're focused more on you're, you're lighting up that future vision of how you would like it to be okay so what does that look like you could you could sit down and just start making lists of things that sound good fun to you what sounds fun in your social life? Does it sound fun? This, these are the things, like here's what you could say, right? You take out your piece of paper and you write down, what are some things I'd wanna do? Maybe I'd go for, I like um, meeting people who also like to hike or meeting people who like to dance or meeting people who like museums or meeting, like what's your interest, right? Maybe you don't know. I intend, you, I mean, you could, you could say, I intend to find more passions in life. You're focused on your passion, right? You're focused, I intend to have more fun. I intend to feel like every day is like a dream life, like I'm on vacation every day. I do, I did have that affirmation, right? Several years ago about feeling like every day is a vacation. Because I think I heard an entrepreneur say, more people plan for, for a vacation than they do for like what they do through their life, right? You go on vacation and you get excited and you're like, I'm gonna do this. And you, you already decided where you're going and you're planning every single day of that vacation, okay? But what are you doing the rest of the time in your own life, right? See how we look at a vacation and now we're planning all that excitement. We can plan that every day feels like a vacation. I, I intend today feels like a vacation. I intend to do the things that I enjoy doing every day. All right, so how do you have a better social life? Start focusing on the things you would like to do. And by the way, you might have things you think you wanna do and then you're like, no, I don't like that. That's okay, you just cross that off the list. That's not something you're interested in anymore. And now there's new desires. It's about feeling and figuring out those desires from within, okay? So you could have a better social life by focusing on something that you would like to do. Okay, what are things that you enjoy doing? And based on the things you enjoy doing, you can meet people and have a social life also around that. SV has been coming in hot and cold. You're persisting, feeling it triggering. Okay, if it's feeling triggering, that just kind of shows you where you're at, that you're not feeling that stable in the new version of you. So how do you get through that, right? How do you transcend and overcome that? you say this is okay i feel triggered i feel triggered okay persist in the version of you who feels secure who feels sure who's unshakable 
So I am affirmations. I am unshakable. I am secure. I radiate security. My life is great. I love hot behavior. I love the, the vision of my reality where I'm in a relationship that just keeps getting better and better, right? You focus on that vision of what you want. Okay, so it comes in hot and cold, and guess what? Our, does our mind go to more of the cold behavior? Why is it hot and cold? I am persisting, but why is it not happening? Okay, that whole process, that whole thought process aligns with you don't have your desire yet. Okay, you can manifest over linear time going back and forth, right? But here's what you need to do. You wanna make this happen so quickly, keep affirming hot behavior, right? Whatever the hot behavior is, right? Hot behavior means consistent communication. I love it. I love consistent communication. I love that we are both emotionally available. I love that I'm emotionally available. I love that I can share my feelings. I love being in a relationship where I share my feelings. I love being heard and seen. I love that my partner sees me and hears me and appreciates me. I love being appreciated. So make that list and focus on what does it look like? What does that look like for the end? Focus on the end of what you want, not on what you see in the 3D, but on the end of what you want. So that, that's a mental discipline. So say, I am mentally disciplined. I know how to focus on the end. I'm powerful at manifesting. I get everything I want. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at focusing. I'm so good at getting clear on who I am and how I live my life. I'm so good at living my own dream life. All of that aligns, those thoughts align with your end goal. So we shift our attention instead of somebody comes in our life and they're annoying. And now are we focusing on the fact that they're annoying or could we look at the best in them? <laughs> you look at the best in your person, same thing, hot and cold. They come in, they come in hot. You're like, Ooh, I like this. And then something happens and you go, now your thoughts are showing, are saying, why is there someone else? Do they not like me? Right? What is your assumption based on the cold behavior? What was your assumption? Okay, because you got to create stability within that even if it's cold, your assumption is no big deal. I am the creator of my reality. Okay, that's you. That's you kind of getting closer and closer to the version of you with your desire. Okay, so cold behavior, no big deal. That's not a big deal. You are the creator, but don't create more cold behavior by focusing on the cold behavior. Okay, do you, do you get that? Where you put your attention and you, where your focus is creating more of that in your own reality. So don't put any importance and focus and attention and intention on that cold behavior. All right. Right now you should feel relieved. Feel relieved right now. I mean, my goal is for you to feel relieved. Uh, we don't have to feel relieved to manifest that desire. But I know what it feels like to feel triggered and feel anxious, and I know what it feels like to feel relieved and feel better and feel like I got this, right? Thank you for the rose. Focus on not this specific person. Don't focus on the specific person, okay? The reason I'm telling you that, I'm not saying that in every case, but when you're focused on the specific person and you're focused on it's not going right, it's hot and cold, this is triggering me, then don't focus on what's triggering you. You turn your, it would be better for you to create a vision board of like, what does it look like the dream home that you want? Which it sort of has something to do with a specific person, but in a way it doesn't. Focus on where is the place that you wanted to go? Like, what are your dreams and visions of your own life? If you focus on planning, planning the things in your own life, you're preparing a place, right? You're pre preparing your reality. Prepare the place. In the Bible, or Neville Goddard talks about the Bible, there are many mansions, okay? There are, there are infinite realities. There are many mansions, infinite versions of your specific person, infinite versions of you, okay? I go to prepare a place. Go to prepare a place is going to the end and preparing and aligning with the vision of the reality you want. So you can prepare a place in many ways just by focusing on gratitude, focus on where you want, where and what you want your life to look like. 
All right, so I intend that you're feeling better today. I intend that you step into your power and the security empowerment within and create, be a creator. Be a creator. You're not the victim. We're pushing away. We are erasing victim mentality and you're stepping up in your power. You take your power back and now you're the, you're the captain of the ship. I love Dr. Joseph Murphy always said, you're the captain of the ship. You're the captain. Where are you steering your vessel? Your vessel, your reality, your world, right? Where, where is your vessel going? Is it going to the hot and cold? Or is it going to, it's hot, it's better than ever, okay? So steer the vessel of your life with your vision. Peach, can I manifest getting into med school? Absolutely, you can manifest anything. You already are manifesting everything. So manifest means to reveal, right, to reveal. So what, what, your, what is your life revealing right now? How do you create that you reveal that you're in med school, right? That you, um, that you are living that life? Visualize that, affirm that, okay? What does it look like? That looks like you saying, I'm, 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 I am the person that gets into med school. I'm getting into the med school that I want no matter what, right? You're declaring that. This is mine. I am so smart. I am so good at this. I am brilliant. I know what I'm doing. I know how to study. My mind is like a sponge. Everything I read, I just get it, right? So, so even though that might not be the case, you have to keep affirming that. You affirm that to become that, okay? What does that look like if you're using like a visualization or a technique? Inner conversation. Your parents are saying congratulations and you are telling your friends in the world, what does that feel like and what does that look like that you, that you have this offer, right? That you've been accepted. So any kind of imaginal scene get you in that place, create that future moment right in the present moment now, okay? Visualize that and know that. And I always feel like it's really powerful at the same time. We can, we can visualize and manifest something, but you, if we're identifying ourselves as someone that, like, I don't know, you know, kind of someone who sometimes fails. I mean, we all fail, but it's, how are you looking at failure? Are we looking at it as I failed and, you know, you're not sure what to do? Or are you looking at that failure as valuable? So identify yourself as someone who sees the value in your world. You, you create who you are and you create yourself as secure, smart, successful. I was born to succeed. I was born to win. I was born to get everything I want in life. All right, so that's the identity and self-concept of someone who's really sure and secure of themselves. Okay, Billy Phillips, I got rejected for a job and my SP is not contacting me. It doesn't mean you can't have, it doesn't mean that circumstance doesn't mean you can't have what you want. All right, so even, I've had clients, and not only my clients, but even before I was teaching manifesting and, and mindset experiences in life where someone was rejected from something and, and even a better job came. Or um, one of my good friends was rejected from a job and, and, and came back two days later to say, we, we need you. I, I don't know. Some, it fell, it fell uh, with the other person, the other candidate. It, it just it didn't work out. Okay. Is that still okay? Okay. So there is never a point that you stop affirming. Affirming meaning just holding your vision. When they say rejected, you're not hired, what, what's, your, what's going on within you? Are you saying, no, I've got this? You know, I mean, we could feel hurt in the moment, sure but come back to the infinite you, the secure you who knows that, you know, I'm valuable and everyone sees my value. And every interview I go on, they see my value. They want me, they wanna work with me because they see the value that I provide. I'm someone who's really good at figuring things out and they know I'm a problem solver. So create that, create that kind of vision for yourself, the vision, where no matter what you're getting fit, see yourself with the job okay 
SP is not contacting me. Well, we don't want to create that, okay? So you observe your reality. SP is not contacting me. Well, don't focus on your specific person. You don't even want that version of that specific person. So you're not going to focus on like goodbye, good riddance. Understand there are infinite versions of your specific person. Not only that, there is an abundance abundance of people that could be the perfect partner for you you don't have to focus on don't focus on the person that's not contacting you focus on yourself as feeling lovable and feeling chosen you focus on yourself and your self-identity okay and that you have a lot to give and you are a dream partner because not only will other people reflect that and show you that in your world, there will be a new version of your specific person that shows up. Okay, you do not want to focus on the old version. You're focusing on yourself and how you want to be treated and how you expect a relationship to go. And your world will reflect that. Uh, JJ, how do you turn your SP into a boyfriend? Well, you okay, so you want to go to the end and you're visualizing, right? When I say visualize, it's the same as like affirming or visualize or script, okay? You're imagining that you're already together in the relationship. So what does that look like to you from your perspective? It looks like you feel secure and you feel loved and you feel like you're in, you know, with someone. You feel like you're chosen. Okay, you would be saying he's mine. He is mine. And you would know that he's saying um, she right he or she. <laughs> they are mine. Your boy, the boyfriend is also what is your boyfriend saying when when he's not with you? He's talking about you. So so how do you create that? You could affirm he's my boyfriend right? Okay. Depending on if, if you're feeling that lack of this isn't happening, then don't focus on them. When you're feeling that lack, that's why you focus on yourself. When you're solid in yourself, now focus on your specific person. What do they think about you? You practice thinking what they think about you. What do people think about you in general? What does this person think about you? Oh my God. When they think about you, they're like, you are the catch. They hit the jackpot with you they are just so enamored with you that's what they think about you they think like how lucky they are to have you in their life all right so all of that aligns you with the end of being in the relationship where you're a boy you know this is your boyfriend yeah 3d plays me a lot <laughs> The 3D is not playing you though. The th you're, you're in charge. The 3D does not play you. That's your perception. And now, do you think that's a, a perception that really is gonna play out in your favor? If the 3D is playing you a lot, does that favor, does that support the reality that you want? Because the 3D has no, no power, but you're, you're giving your power away. All right, so let's, let's change that. 3D, 3D has nothing on you. 3D cannot outsmart you or outplay you. That's not even possible. Okay, so turn the focus on, I'm in charge. I'm in charge of this reality. <laughs> and whatever happens in the 3D reality, I know how to overcome it. And I know how to transcend. And I know how to be in the God state where I could just snap my fingers and it's done. I know how to turn on a light switch and get my desire. All right, so am I saying that that will happen overnight? It can, but you persist in those thoughts and that vision of yourself, you will become that person. Marilyn Monroe is a great example of turning on the light switch and she talked about it in interviews or with other people. She just turned on, she'd say, hey, I'm gonna turn that light switch on. She'd say, well, she didn't call it light switch, but she'd say, watch this. And she would go from in, being in a place where no one gave her any attention, didn't recognize her, and look at her friend and say, watch this. And then all of a sudden, right, the, it was a photographer's wife or somebody that, that told the story. And that photographer's wife said, oh my God, the minute Marilyn said, watch this, everyone just started like, finding her irresistible. People were giving her appreciation, giving her attention, right? She could turn that on like a light switch. 
We could, I can do that. Turn that on like a light switch. You could do that. Do that right now. The world is not against you. It's not playing you. Okay, I mean, those are, uh, those are beliefs we, if we adopted those, we, they were unconscious beliefs. Number one, become aware of what your beliefs are <laughs> or recognize, right? It's about, it's about being, <laughs> it's about observing your own thoughts and observe your own beliefs. So, so be more observant about what you're thinking and saying. Okay, it shouldn't feel too exhausting. You're just observing. You're observing just like you observe your reality. 3D plays me out. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's not even true. Like that's what you say in the moment. <laughs> Like you'll have that thought, right? Oh, 3D's playing me again. 3D's, because you probably heard it over and over and over. Someone, maybe maybe a parent said it. Maybe an uncle said it. Maybe an aunt said it. Maybe teacher said it. Okay, you, we heard it in our world and we, we adopt a belief, but those beliefs aren't even true. So, so, so no, step one, recognize it. Then now you, now that's the, that is a huge, um, change in your world just by recognizing that you will create huge changes in your world by recognizing and, and recognizing and observing what you're thinking and what your beliefs are so you'll have a thought oh yeah you might even be with friends and like a friend says it and you're like yeah that yeah yep this world is playing me and then you just have the awareness you go oh wait a minute right this is all in your mind then you like even if you're with a friend you don't have to say anything you just in your mind have a recognition like a light bulb moment and go oh 3d is not playing me no way no i'm taking my power back i am taking my power back i am in charge of my reality i am the captain of the ship I steer my destiny. There's no destiny outside of us. You are in complete control of your destiny. Some people don't believe that. Some people believe it's to, de it, it's, it, it's, it's, give it up to destiny. Okay, no, if you give it up to destiny, well, what that really means, if you have that belief, like give it up to destiny, that's gonna just, your reality may be good, but it's going to be based on beliefs that you hold. And if you if you're de you give it up to destiny, but you believe that the 3D plays you, what do you think your what do you think your outcome of experience in reality will be? All right. So this is about awareness. This is about observing observing your reality. <clears throat> Observe your reality to know it's a reflection of you. Okay. Three. And by the way, your 3D is playing you a lot because that's the belief you're saying and holding. So now you have that belief and it's your 3D reality shows it to you. Okay, so you have to break the cycle and you're breaking it right here by affirming, I take my power back. Nobody's playing me. <laughs> Nobody is playing me. This world doesn't play me, I play this world. I am so, this is the game of life and how to play it and I know how to play the game of life. All right, so that's a little rampage of what you say in that moment. Uh, Sandy, can, can your body have physical feelings of purging? The past couple days I've had anxieties and shivers. It's purging out, just say that to yourself. This is a purge. I have anxiety and shivers, it's okay. Do you understand why I'm saying it's okay? Because when we say, allow ourselves to say, it's okay, that's relieving in, it, in itself. That's a relief in itself to say, it's all okay. You know when you're cold when you're you know when you're outside in the cold and it's cold and you're shivering and you're tight and you're you hold your body tight you just shiver more but if you just say if you just relax you could re, you actually will bring more warmth to your body by relaxing your body okay so other ways you could do this is saying first of all say it's okay i feel this way that's okay that's relieving what else is relieving breathing techniques you create physiological changes in your body with breathing so rhythmic breathing, you breathe in for six seconds, you hold it for six seconds, shh, breathe out for six seconds, hold it six seconds, breathe in for six seconds, hold it for six seconds, shh, breathe out for six seconds, okay, hold it for six seconds. That's what you can, when you're feeling this way, tell yourself it's okay, and then use a breathing technique. It will change your body physiologically. All right, now what else can you do? S focus on gratitude. When you're focused on gratitude, you're not feeling angry and mad. When you're focused on, on gratitude, you're not feeling as much, you're not really feeling anxiety or you're feeling less anxiety. 
it's calming you down. It depends where you are. Like in the beginning, if you start to rampage gratitude, you might still feel anxious. It's not about just rampaging the gratitude off. Be in the present moment. You're making lunch. Let's say you're making lunch right now. Be grateful for the food that you have. Focus on the present moment of what you have, right? Of having. The reason we feel anxious is because we don't have something we want. I mean, it's not the only reason, but that, that's one reason, right? When we don't have something we want, we feel anxious about it. You, you actually have everything because it's all within you. And it's deeper than what the world will say, you have it all within you, but it's actually deeper than that. You, it, you have it all within you because you're the creator of your reality, your thoughts, your consciousness, the contents of your mind. It precedes the physical reality. So yes, you do have it within you because whatever you think is out pictured in your world, it's cause and effect, right? Causes the mind, effect is the world. We think it's the other way around when we grow up in this reality and it's not the other way around. So I intend that you are already feeling more relaxed. You're using a breathing technique in the moment. You're focused on gratitude. You're focused on the vision of a better life, a vision of feeling good. What does it feel like to feel good? Go watch a video on YouTube with a bunch of animals that will crack you up, <laughs> that will make you laugh. Okay, that could be something, you know, what can you do? You change your focus on to something else, right? Have you ever felt really anxious? I mean, even when my dad passed away several years ago, there's that feeling of anxiety in you. It feels like it could be there all day long, okay? But when you get immersed in the present moment and I went out to lunch with a friend and we were just sitting and talking, it's like, it's not that we're forgetting, it's not that I'm forgetting about that. He's not here, but, or, it, you know, that moment in that time, but I was in the present moment being present with, with a friend, being present with the food I was eating. And that presence brought me some relief. It made me, brought me to a better place. So no matter what happens, you could be brought to a better place by changing your focus. Um, Miriam said, everybody go watch med her meditation on YouTube called I am the prize. So I have a video, uh, it's a meditation affirmation video called I am the prize, because you are the prize. And for some reason we got off track. We were born being a prize, being a priority, being a masterpiece. Like you are one and unique, you are a masterpiece. And through our life, like the world will tell us you're not the prize. Oh, you know who's the prize? That person is the prize. Oh, that person um, got the most degrees, they're the prize. Or that person is a CEO of a company and they're our prize. Or that woman is beautiful or she's a model or she's, you know, that whole thing that went down with, um, I can't, I don't even know their names. Maroon 5 guy. <laughs> because I don't really pay attention that much to social media because I'm not putting importance on all of that. I'm a, I see it and I observe it. I like it. I appreciate it. But I'm not putting my attention on the, all the negative things. But everyone kept talking about the Victoria's Secret model. Like, it, she is some god. I'm not... Okay, so you got to change your perception. Change your perception. Because when we think that that person's the prize and it happened to her, it can happen to anyone. No, no. Even that mindset, okay? because you want to see the value. I see the value in you. I see the value in her. She's beautiful. I see the value in me. I see I'm, I'm just as beautiful. I see the value in you. We are all beautiful. But why are we de deeming and, and agreeing to society or the world that tells us this, this is the beauty standard? Okay, don't agree to that. It's your own reality. In your own reality, you can affirm, I am I am the beauty standard. I'm not saying that from an egotistical way. I'm saying that for the person that really felt like they were not beautiful and they need to build themselves up, okay? So I am the prize. The affirmation, uh, the, the, the statements in that video, the I am affirmation, it's like, I am a masterpiece. I am premium. I am first class. I am a priority. I am a prize, okay? because maybe we didn't hear we didn't hear people tell us that
Okay, so now you're going to claim that and you're going to be that version of you that feels valuable. I am valuable. I am enough. I am worthy. I decide I am. I don't look to the world to tell me. This, this is, I'm helping you with your thought process, right? So you say to yourself, I tell, I decide if I'm, that I'm valuable. The world doesn't tell me if I'm valuable. I decide that I'm good, good enough. The world doesn't tell me I'm good enough. I decide it. And guess what? And when I decide it, when you decide it, your world, by, as a byproduct, your world will reflect it because you're the creator of your reality and everything is responding to you. So your perception is being manifested in your own reality. And if you're looking to everybody outside of you thinking that their life is great, well, you're, you're manifesting or creating, right? Or aligning with a rea reality where it feels like everybody else's, like their life is great and, and what's going on in your life. Like it's, why is it so great in their life? And I don't know, my life's just blah. You have to create that your life is great. And how do you do that? You could claim it. Just by claiming it, you will see a perception change. You will see an experience change in your own reality by claiming it. My world is great. My world is really great. So when you claim something like that, like I have a great life. Okay, you, you might think I don't have a great life. Well, you claim I intend to have a great life. I have a great life. My life is great. And the more you claim that in that statement, now you will start taking action based on what is coming from within. You're taking action without even realizing it. But if you think your life's not great now, where are you taking action from? You're taking action from every step in people, places, and things in your reality will show you and reflect, it's not so great. So you wanna create your life being great, feeling like a dream life, feeling like it feels so good. You claim that. Now you're walking in every single moment you're creating from within, so without. How do you see your life? If you see your life as great, you will create that reflection from the 3D reality. So yeah, thank you for suggesting that, Miriam. I love all my meditations, so I have many other meditations. I really like my hot girl walking meditation. I listen to that when I walk my dog. So it's not about being hot. It's not about physical. This is all a manifestation. It's about your perception of yourself. Um, and it's about feeling attractive. It's about feeling confident. It's about walking with your shoulders back. Okay, because that video also, it's not just about the, uh, it, there, there are affirmations about your phys physical parts of your body, like your physical body, but it's about where are you mentally? I am valuable. I am confident. I am sure of myself. I do believe in me. I know what I, I have. I know that I have what it takes. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't ever show the whole name, but it said like Maroc, Maroc and Maroc and thank you for the roses. Also, I do have a free Facebook group. So if anyone is new here and you want to join my free Facebook group, um, the link in my bio or go to my YouTube. I don't know if it's the link in my bio. Yeah, the link in my bio has it. Um, and, and that's a free community where you will be surrounded by people that align with this information. You're here for a reason because you have this desire that's creating you to rise in consciousness to the understanding that you are more than this physical body. Okay. So I have many ways to work with me. If you need additional help and you want to level up, I have a community, a VIP monthly subscription group. I go live in that group several times a week. It's, it's more than Facebook. Um, it's support, motivation, inspiration. It's consistent videos based on what you're asking me to work on with you. You're getting me like one-on-one -on -one if you wanna chat with me there. So that's another really powerful place to go. If you wanna work on your own, which is powerful as well because you wanna go in your own mind, right? And you just like studying for something, like we, 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 we create a new blueprint and, and you, you, you get an, a deeper understanding, right? When we study something. So my self-study, create your reality by master your reality, by mastering your self-concept. That's a powerful course for someone that wants to work on this by themselves. Become the version of you with your desire. SP is engaged. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, persist girl, right? 
He is yours. I love that we have um, support in, the, in this live, right? Remember, your whole world is a manifestation. It's your whole experience that you have in life is coming from your imagination. You just didn't know that. Now you know that. Okay, it's coming from you and everything in your world is responding to you. Your specific person in that third party, both of that, those people, they are responding to how you perceive them. Okay, you are the only one who is the thinker in your quantum bubble of reality. Okay, and you can prove it to yourself. I proved it to myself over and over and over that people are responding to my perception of them. So when SP is engaged, what's your perception? Do you feel defeated? Do you feel deflated? Do you feel in, unsure and insecure? Do you feel not chosen, unwanted? Okay, <clears throat> because you want to, that, that, then that's you in the version of that reality. <laughs> okay, so what are you feeling? What you think of self, right? If you want to have the, 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 the SP in your life, think about there are infinite versions of your specific person. All creation, all creation is complete. Everything exists. There is a version of you and your specific person together who are engaged, who are married. There's a, there's a version of you and your specific person right now that you're experiencing. There's a version where your specific person and you are just starting dating, right? So like there are infinite versions, but you're focused on the version where you're not chosen. So you need to go to get to a place and align with the vision where you are, where you decide you're chosen, where you are the one in the relationship. Do you understand that that can fall apart? Okay, if we look at that perception, the perception of linear time and reality, that can that could just fall apart today or tonight, tomorrow. But if you look at that and think, oh my God, they got engaged, it's over, that's your reality. There's not only that one specific person also, okay? We don't have to be hyper-focused on this one person to create fulfillment from within. Fulfillment is created first within, okay? So you persist. Don't focus on, on those two, okay? Don't do that at all. Because you, you see those two and you're just gonna keep remembering the, the situation of the past. And the past, the <laughs> a powerful manifester understands that you manifest from the present moment, not from the past, not from what you just heard and found out this morning, but you can, you manifest from the unlimited, from the quantum field, from the unlimited potential, from the fourth dimensional real, uh, unseen reality. There's 99% of what exists we cannot see but we're hyper-focused on that 1% of what we see and what we don't like what we see. So a powerful manifester, which is what you are, which all of you are, right? So manifest or create or align with the reality you want by going to that reality right now. Visualize that reality now. Feel that, you don't have to see you in the person. See yourself because you start with self, right? There's no one to change but self. Um, your self-conception, what you conceive of yourself in the, in the concept that you hold of yourself is what's creating your reality. So you have to, you have to be rooted and, and stable in the vision of yourself that's chosen, like that, feel it, secure, chosen, adored, loved, right? You are rooted, think of a tree, huge tree, right? The root, you're, you're rooted. The roots in the ground, you are rooted to the version of you who's sturdy, sturdy, sturdy and secure and lovable. You gotta hold on to that vision. Cause every time you look at the 3D and see what you don't like, now you're, cre you're creating more of that. Okay, you could see what you don't like and just say, ah, old reality, not choosing it, shift your attention. Or not a, I don't believe in you don't get what you want cause the universe has something better. Right. Well, okay. So, but let's look at, let's just look at that because the way you're saying it, yes, I don't believe in that. It's not like that's, <laughs> let me clarify. <laughs> I'm trying to talk too fast. Okay. 
when when someone thinks you don't get you want you don't get what you want because the universe has something better well if you're assuming the universe is outside of you right and you're like well the universe isn't giving you something better but you could have a belief because you're the universe right we are the universe right and 99 percent of what exists is unseen so we can give it up to our inner self right our higher self infinite intelligence which some people call that same thing universe same it's not thing but this entity this love this infinite love the infinite love which the same words would be or the same term universe god source infinite intelligence whatever whatever resonates with you right so you could have a belief i think this would still be a powerful belief right um that infinite intelligence like from the bible um god has ways i know not of okay but we're not taking directly from scripture we're taking from a different uh, the metaphysical interpretation of the of the bible the metaphysical interpretation is <clears throat> God is within us. We are God. We are one with God, right? But God has ways we know not of, or universe has ways we know not of. Not a universe outside of us, not the universe, but like there's infinite ways. Uh, we only have a perspective based on our experiences. There's a broader perspective. Okay, so I personally have used this is going to work or something better. And, and I did get something better <laughs> because my limited mind could only conceive of certain things, okay? And what else happened when I said it'll be this or something better? Well, instead of hyper-focusing on that one thing and thinking of that's actually hyper-focused on one thing is more of a lack or scarcity perception, okay? So if we say something better, that something better is helping you identify there is abundance and there are there are infinite ways in this there's abundance of everything in the world all right so i just want you to see it in a little bit different of a perspective because it's not that i love what you said right it's not the universe is going to give us something better but it's that you know that there are ways that you know not of and now as we rise in consciousness and we broaden our perspective, we do have, I have way more uh, larger perception now than I did even a year ago. But do I still have an unlimited perception? I intend to, but I know that I could also just give it, give it to my higher self that's part of me. I and my father are one, but my father is greater than I. So I can give it to that infinite intelligence to orchestrate. We don't have to know the how. Yeah, you get to manifest what you want. Exactly. But we could also, right? I'll, I'll, there's a lot of paradoxes in this whole, this whole game because everything exists. So it just depends what perception we're looking from. So I love that. I love that you state, I get, I get to manifest what I want because you do. We get to manifest what we want. And we can know the how. We already know the how of many things that happen in our life. We already know the how. Okay, but we give up the how sometimes because we don't have to let our logical mind take over and wonder how is that going to happen. Okay, you give it up. Our job is to choose, right? Our job is just to, to walk through life choosing. I want this. I want that. I like this. I like that. What to do if we get so stressed and overwhelmed and in fear like spiral out of control? When you're spiraling, just just um, let it let yourself feel that. So when you're stressed, being present is powerful. In the present moment, wh when you're stressed, have you ever gone to the gym when you're stressed and you started working out, especially if you're in a workout class where someone is helping guide you and direct you to do something? Okay, but go work out if you like to work out. Hopefully, I think working out, everyone should work out. Whether working out would mean go for a walk. Going for a walk will even change that stress. Going for a walk and being present. 
So as you walk, you look at the beautiful trees and you look at the flowers and you observe your reality. You're going to be in the present moment and you won't be thinking about the anxiousness of what you don't have. You won't be um, focused on the anxiety of the future, right? Worried about the future or anxious about the past, but in the present moment, that's, that's really powerful, um, I guess, technique or a powerful way to live your life being in the being present okay because being present and feeling present will align you with the reality of having okay when you're present that aligns you with the reality of having but when you're thinking about oh what happened and i don't have this and why did that happen you're not aligned with the reality of having because you're thinking of not having it and you're focused on not having so do you understand mindfulness presence being present and mindful in the present moment, that aligns you with the end. There are people, we can manifest a reality just being, pre but, you know, get clear on your goals. I want this, 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 and then just go walk through your day being in the present moment. That's a really powerful way to manifest your reality. You don't have to keep affirming over and over and over. You don't have to. Those are just techniques. Those are just helping you, you get there in your mind. Okay. You could also see it as stages because I, I was at a place where I affirmed all the time. I don't. I don't affirm all the time. I stay more present. I give it up to my higher self. I stay, I, I focus on the fulfillment from within. I focus on breathing techniques to calm myself. I change the topic. <laughs> change the topic meaning focus on something better Focus on a better conversation. Focus on anything except that problem. <laughs> okay, do you understand when we take our focus away from the problem, it doesn't mean we're just suppressing. This is not suppressing anything. This is conscious creation. It's deliberate creation. Okay, we're not putting our focus on the problem. We're gonna put our focus in the solution. Thinking from already having. You guys, I wanna answer more questions, but I do have to run. You are powerful. And I know and I see a vision of you understanding this on a very deep level. Okay, so create that from within. Affirm that reality. Affirm the reality where you're a master at this. So that's actually a really powerful way. Instead of focusing on the 3D reality, focus on the version of you who's powerful that you're a master manifester and you know exactly what you're doing, right? Remember, you won't know what you're doing, you're, but you, you continue to claim it and you will be walking and every, everything in your reality will reflect what, where you put your focus. So if you put your focus on the idea of creating yourself as a powerful master manifester, you will become that. I'm so good at this. I'm a master at this. I can turn the light switch on. I could turn the light switch off. I can make someone fall in love with me. I can make someone fall out of love with me. I can manifest that job. I can manifest a better job. Okay, like you could create that reality. Keep holding hold to that vision of you. I love you all. If you want additional help, I have many ways to work with me. Just look at my, my the link in my description or the bio. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of different meditations there. So have a great day. I love you. Bye.